Hello, I'm the Zachary and we've got another 7-Day Roguelike to review. Uh, ended up not doing any reviews yesterday because I did laundry all of Sunday, as I usually do. 7-Day uh, Roguelike by Tiny, Tiny Touch Tales and Max Mexer Feidler. Fieldler. Fied... Fiedler. Whatever. Wazda, or whatever, to move... Mouse was the arrows to move. Collect the golden acorn in descent by the stairs. Bows have range, shield blocks, swords, and reflect arrows. 20 turns, new enemy is added. Okay, let's give this a shot then. There we go. This is interesting. Oh wait, no, that's gonna kill me, yep. He had a shield which reflects the bolts. Derp derp. Oh, dang it, he picked up a shield. I need to be careful of that, because you pick up what you go on, apparently, and uh, that doesn't work out for me. There we go. This is quite a nice one. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> that worked. And then just go right back and go down. Yeah, that's convenient. Uh... Oh, dang it. Okay, they can shoot at you. Good thing to know. Um... Okay, so they'll bash you if you're next time you do something else. Got it. Okay. Um, I like this. This is good. Looks like they're only attacking you if you'd be doing something other than moving when next to them, which is good because it wouldn't be very doable if otherwise. Interesting. Oh boy, there's a lot of them right now. Really filling up the map. Oh, 
I'll take that. That was easy. Oh, dang it. Right, moving away from them when they're ranged apparently will make them not like you either. Huh. Some of these interactions are interesting. Oh wait, no, that's... yeah, that's gonna be a death. I haven't reflect killed myself in a bit. No, that's... Okay, so if you're facing in the direction of them, they'll go do that anyway. Keep... Annoying. Oh. What just happened? I have no clue what just happened. Backstab, that's cool. Um, in other news, this will be the 20th game I've reviewed, which, going by the... Uh, Uh, going by the game list on the review thing, that basically means I've gone and reviewed after this one. I'll have reviewed I didn't want to shoot him, I just wanted to go downstairs. I'll have reviewed a, uh, 20% of 100, is 50, or no, one-fifth is what I wanted to say. I will have reviewed one-fifth of the games that came out. I didn't want to shoot him, but I didn't have the choice. I couldn't just walk. Like... Oh, derp, idiot. Need to be more careful about that. Oh, that's annoying. And then he kills me because I'm stunned there and he had a bow. Or a crossbow, but yeah. I'm getting the hang of all the little edge cases that we deal with. For instance, right here, I need to, uh... Oh, I can't just attack him, that's annoying. But yeah, I couldn't just straight up attack that spot. That was not an option. Oh, dang it. Double shot? That's... I'm not sure if I'm cool with that. I'm not cool with this, either. There we go. At least I got it. Right. Oh, dang it. 
Bow guy next to me. Derp. Is it... Okay, so I can move to the side. But when I move in line with it. There's when I move towards it, it doesn't care. Okay. Uh, the acorns. There we go. Oh. Okay, some of the rules are still a little iffy in my head. Oh wow, the acorn was on the exit. Huh. Oh wow, I made the acorn go onto myself. That's handy to know I can do. Oh wait, no, I had a shield, that's good. But you have a bow, it's kinda hard to tell, but I saw it. There you go. I think at this point I'm unconsciously trying to... Oh, no, that, that's gonna kill me. I'm unconsciously trying to go and make it uh, end up on the same square as the exit. Which is a bit derpy. And down we go. That works. Also, I think at that point, just moving away probably would have been the better thing. Hmm. I don't really have a good hold on how the melee dudes. Work and he shoots me, right? I should have just went back down. Oh, okay. So if you move away from them, they'll backstab you. Good to know. Oh, right. Shield blocks, reflex. There we go. A really good game. Oh, I say this is a really good game. Just as I go and do something stupid, <laughs> my own fault, of course. Does he shoot me? No, he doesn't. All right.
<laughs> I wonder you end up. Do they just cycle through or something? Because it's kind of weird. I wonder how many I can get on the screen at once without Cause Okay, the Zero acorns and we're filling up the screen. Okay, let's keep swapping between these. Okay, nope. It ended up in the right spot. I wonder if this will cause an error or a glitch of some sort. Okay, it ended up there as well. That one ended up in the wrong spot, but then it ends up in the right spot. Just a quick little kill. And down you go. Okay, now they're all filled up. One more and we won't be able to move anymore. Or one more and it'll be hard to move. Oh no, you confused. Oh, dang it. There we go. Yep. I think I filled up. Well, I could have grabbed the acorn, but that's about as filled up as you can make the screen. Dang it, he had a bow. And yeah, it didn't turn out well for me. You know, I like this. I like this game. It's a fun game. Oh, it's a fun puzzle game. Not a roguelike. It's got the elements of a roguelike hidden in there. 
And it's one of those, uh, I'm not really sure how to describe it. It's one of the evolutions of a roguelike. A lot of things come and go from what a roguelike is. For instance, there's a lot of games that now take from the uh, procedurally generated side of roguelikes. Oh, he's going to shoot me in the back. Yep, there we go. And just various things like that. And you end up with things like um, Binding of Isaac or... Oh, dang it. He yeah, had a shield. What was I saying? Uh, or FTL. Or Spelunky. Where they take various things and they evolve it in a direction that makes it a different genre. And this is one of those kind of cases. Because you can feel that it gets a lot from roguelikes. It's just, instead of how some of the other ones end up going into a genre that's, that loses a lot of what a roguelike is, puzzles are one of those, especially puzzles like this, it's an essence of the game sort of thing. This is where you really break it down. It's like, this is what the game is. Especially since it's still procedurally generated. Out of memory. Well, we managed to find something. I'm assuming it's because I was playing so much. Like, probably I just need to refresh the page or something. And it'll be all happy goodness. I wonder what it's saving or if it's got a memory leak. Yeah. Because if you take any specific circumstance in a roguelike, like you're in a corridor, there's a goblin ahead of you, and you're low on health, and you have something in your inventory, like you can go through all these, and it's like a puzzle. You go and, like, well, I've got this, so I can do this. Shield, derp. Uh, this takes that any one instance is a puzzle and just makes that the whole game. I don't really want to kill you. I just want to go on to the dang stairs. Um... I'm trying to think of, like, if you've ever played any of the games where or they'll have, like, any kind of tactics or strategy game where they'll start you up with a scenario where it's a tutorial and they're just like, so, can you beat this? Oh, derp. Uh, this is basically like that, except as the whole game. It's like those, uh, oh, that's a good example. Recently there has been those games where it's just boss rush and that's all it is, or it's only bosses necessarily boss rush. 
And he backstabs me. It's kind of like that. You're taking something that people enjoy about the game, the uh, tactical complexity, and your, in this case, or boss fights, as in the boss rush case, and you're taking it and you're wiping away all the rest while keeping the very essence of what makes it it. appreciate that. I'm dead. I didn't li I'm like, I'll go this way and not wait. No, he has a shield, but I already pressed the button. Oh, dang it. <laughs> to have eyes you not see. Um, I've already mentioned it before, but Hoplite is a similar sort of thing. Um, except obviously it's, it's a mouse, I'm not, oh, it's drag to get them to do stuff. That's interesting. It's not just click on the space you want to go to. down, because that'll do that. Oh, dang it, I should have went up. Derp, derp. Oop! Shut up, cell phone. I think I've mostly lost the thread of thought that I was going through. So that would be here-ish. King of nothing. Okay. Uh, first of all, completeness. Almost perfect. It ran out of memory, though. If I had been in a high-scoring game when that happened... I would have been really annoyed, so I can't give it full credit on completeness. Aesthetics? Oh, sublime. It's... you have only the, uh, you only move. You don't have any other controls that you need, because it just all happens right away. You move at someone, and stuff happens, and you have to learn from there. And just everything, the look of it, the feel of it, Magnifique. Just even like just on this tile thing, you're like a roach and they're rats and you're crawling around on this grubby dungeon floor thing. Amazing. This has a whole lot of aesthetic. How to use the word in this case? Has a whole lot of uh, feeling in it. That's not quite the right way to say it, but yeah. Uh, fun. While it's not a roguelike, it is a game that everyone should play. First of all, it's short enough that anyone can just open up the web browser, because once again, this is a web-based... I forgot to mention to start. Web-based. I'm using Chrome. I don't know if it works on anything else. But, uh, fun, yes. It's easy enough to play, quick... You can play one or two games to get a feel of it, and you'll know if you want it or not. And I advise everyone to give it a try, just because it's a nice little quick game or puzzle, uh, if you were, because that's what it is. Innovation. I like 
not being in control of your actions besides movement. I think it would be interesting to see a roguelike that takes that idea except as an actual roguelike. Maybe not so blatant where you have literal weapons and shields and stuff just on the floor. But some kind of system where it's like you step there and you do this, depending on what the floor is, or something like that. Maybe you have like a lineup of things on the bomb that cycles through, like like you have a heavy sword, so it's like one sword attack that's really damaging. You don't have a shield, so no shields or anything. You have armor, so there's an armor, and it's plate mail, so actually there's a two armor. And then, um, you have, a, you have a potion of healing. And that's like, sword, armor, armor, healing, sword, armor, armor, healing. Kind of like that. It just goes through that lineup. And it's just whatever you have equipped. So you can go and change out stuff, but then it adds it to the end of the list, and everything that's already in the list continues through. That would be interesting. Of course, I just basically made another game, and if this was the start of the 7-Day Roguelike, this would be where I'd be very tempted to go, well, I'll just make that. Which is how I ended up doing this time as well, except for a different idea. Anyway, scope. Um... Hmm. Yeah. Fits quite within the box that I call seven day roguelike. Um, with the polish and everything else it's got on it, and just the look and the feel of it, just how everything is, it's amazing. And that's the only reason why I'm not rating it lower. Because while it is amazing and everything feels complete and right, it's relatively small scale. Um, things that I'd like to see if this gets further iterated on. First of all, the deeper you go, maybe you could increase the size of the playfield, like, and all of a sudden you have more rooms for more rats. Um, I don't think you need different weapons or items, I guess. That all seems relatively okay. Um... Actually, no, I can't really think of much else. Just to, I guess, call it like difficulty lower or something. Just have a, a bigger map available or something. Like this, more difficult or something. I don't know. Random thoughts. Uh, and roguelikiness. It is a puzzle game, but it's a puzzle game in the same way the Boss Rush games are like the games they come from. So it's more of a subcategory. It's a roguelike puzzler rather than a traditional roguelike. So it's getting a two because it's not a roguelike, but it has all the elements of it minus a few. And it's just a distillation in a certain direction of it. So yeah. I really enjoyed this, and I'm happy that it gets to be my 20th reviewed game. Anyway, a uh, link will be in the description along with the link to the whole playlist for all these reviews. Besides that, I'm Accurate and I'm signing off.